Hey guys, uh, so this is just a continuation of our last video about the orbit. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about the foramina and fissures that make up um, or they're important uh, when discussing the orbit. Uh, the first one is the optic foramen. It passes through the lesser wing of the sphenoid. It transmits the optic nerve, the ophthalmic artery, and the sympathetic nerve fibers. Now the supraorbital foramen is located in the medial third of the superior margin of the orbit and the supraorbital nerve, which is a, a branch of V1, travels through it. I'll show you those right here. So this right here is our optic foramen. This right here is the lesser ring of the sphenoid. And this foramen right here, that's the supraorbital foramen, located in the medial third of the superior margin. Now the ethmoidal foramen is divided into anterior and posterior, and you look when you look at it, you'll see that they're both sort of located at the junction of the roof of the orbit and the medial wall. And uh, I have that in text right here that the anterior is located at the frontoethmoidal suture, and the anteroethmoidal vessels and nerves pass through it. For the posterior, it's at the intersection of the roof uh, and the medial wall of the orbit, and the posterior ethmoidal vessels and nerves go through it. The zygomatic foramen is located on the lateral aspect of the zygomatic bone, and it transmit the, transmits the zygomatical facial and the zygomatic temporal branches of the zygomatic nerve. It also, the zygomatic artery also passes through the zygomatic foramen. So these are the ethmoidal foramen, the posterior, the anterior, right at the junction of the roof and the medial wall. And right here, uh, we can see the zygomatic foramen. Now the nasolacrimal duct, it travels inferiorly from the lacrimal fossa into the inferior meatus. The infraorbital canal is located 4 millimeters below the inferior orbital margin and it transmit the, transmits the infraorbital nerve which is a branch of V2. So right here we have the nasolacrimal fossa and the nasolacrimal canal just goes down from here into the inferior meatus. And this right here is our infraorbital canal. Now I know in this slide it says it's about four millimeters, but there are going to be some variations between people. This is clearly more than four millimeters. So different people are going to be slightly different. Just know that if you see a foramen right below the, the inferior uh, margin of the orbit, it's most likely the inferior orbital foramen. Uh, two other important uh, fissures, the superorbital fissure and the inferior orbital fissure. The superior orbital fissure is located between the greater and the lesser wing of the sphenoid. It's below and lateral to the optic foramen, and I'll show you that when you look at the pictures. Uh, I tried to arrange all the things that go through it in order, so like 3, 4, 5, and 6, just so it's easier to remember. So the superior and the inferior divisions of the cranial nerve 3, cranial nerve 4, the lacrimal, frontal, and nasociliary branches of V1, the sympathetic roots of the ciliary ganglion, and finally cranial nerve 6. As far as the vascular or the blood vessel, the superior ophthalmic vein also goes through the superior orbital fissure. This right here is a superior orbital fissure. It's lateral to the optic foramen. This is our lesser ring of sphenoid. This is our crater ring of sphenoid. So it's exactly where, as we as we uh, talked about, it's located right between those two. And this right here is the inferior orbital fissure. It's located between the the, the lateral wall and the floor of the orbit and it transmits the infraorbital and zygomatic branches of V2. The orbital nerve from the pterygopalatine ganglion also goes through the inferior orbital for, uh, fissure. Finally, for as far as vasculature goes, the inferior ophthalmic vein also goes through this fissure. That's all I have for you guys for this video. Uh, I hope it was helpful, I hope it was educational, and if you have any comments or any questions, any concerns, please feel free to uh, write them down in the comment section below. Right, thank you very much and thanks for stopping by.